Good morning everyone. Welcome to Jam and Sunday Club. Hope you're all doing really well and have had an amazing week and the chance to enjoy all the beautiful sunshine we've been having. So last week we looked at what it means to be disciples and followers of Jesus and how God calls us one by one. This week we're going to follow up on that and look at why each one of us is special and unique. Before we do that though we're going to do a little activity so if you all get up on your feet Okay, perfect. What we're going to do is just do a couple of little exercises, okay? So how we'll do it is I'll demonstrate and then you follow the instructions. So for the first one, can we take our hands and make a really loud clapping noise? Can you do that? Really loud clapping noise. Yep, perfect. Okay, so the next one's going to get a little bit more challenging, but I'm sure you guys are up for this. Okay, so I'd like you to whistle a tune, but using your toes. Okay, so get your toes, big toe, and make a whistling noise using your toe. How was that? No? No luck? Okay, well, we can try a different one. So ah, I've got an idea. I've got my teddy bear here, my monkey. Okay, and I'm going to put him down on the floor in front of me. And now, I'd like you to also put something on the floor in front of you. I'll give you a minute. Okay, and I'd like you to pick it up again, but using your elbow, just one elbow, and pick up your monkey or your toy or whatever's on the floor in front of you. Can you do that with your elbow? I'm not having much luck. How about you? Could you do it? No? Well, I might use my hands. See, pick them up fine with my hands, but with my elbow, that wasn't going to happen. Well, hmm, maybe there's another easier one we can do. Ah, I have an idea. I have some toothpaste here, okay? And I'm sure we all know what toothpaste tastes like. It tastes really minty and fresh. Okay, but this time I'm going to taste toothpaste again, but this time I'm going to use my thumb. Hmm. I'm not getting any of that minty freshness from my thumb doesn't seem to be working. Okay, well, lick my thumb, I can definitely taste it. I can get that minty freshness now, but it was just on my thumb. Didn't have any luck. How about you? Do you have any luck there? No? Hmm. Okay, well, got one more challenge for you. Okay, last one. Now for this, you'll need a pen and a piece of paper. Okay? I have a spiral here that I drew earlier. Yep, nice spiral. And I'd like you to do the same thing, but I want you to hold the pen with your eyebrow. Okay, so just grab that pen in your eyebrow and draw the little spiral. Nope. No luck with that either? Okay, well, hmm. Oh, we'll put that down. See, What's difficult there is that we were trying to use parts of our body for things that they're just not made for. Things that we can't do with it normally. I don't think eyebrows are any good at drawing, you want to use your hands for that. Or thumbs aren't any good at tasting, you want to use your tongue. There's a passage in the Bible that talks about all the different parts of the body and what they're good for. And we're going to read that now. It's in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Starting at verse 14. Now the body is not made up of one part, but of many. If the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. And if the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I do not belong to the body, it would not for that reason cease to be part of the body. If the whole body were an eye, where would the sense of hearing be? If the whole body were an ear, where would the sense of smell be? But in fact, God has arranged the parts in the body, every one of them, just as he wanted them to be. If there were all one part, where would the body be? As it is, there are many parts, but one body. And then jumping to verse 27. Now you are the body of Christ, and each one of you is a part of it. So what, do we, what does that mean? Well means that every one of us is special and has a unique part to play in God's plan. 
It also means we're all meant to be different. Just like the parts of the body, we all have things we're good at and things that make us special. And lastly, it means that when we work together, we can do much more than we can by ourselves. Let us pray. Father God, thank you that you made us all different and unique with our own special skills. Thank you that you love us and are always there for us. In Jesus' name, Amen. For this week's craft, we're going to make something to remind us of this. For today's craft, we're going to make a people chain. Now what you need for this is a pair of scissors, some colouring in pencils and a piece of paper. To start making the chain, you will take your piece of paper and fold it in half. Then going to fold one side back on itself, like this, making sure you line up the edges. Then going to turn it round and do exactly the same thing on the other side. So line up those edges. Perfect. Then we're going to get our coloured pencil and we're going to draw the outline of a person on the front. So draw their head, give them some arms. Now it's really important that when you draw the arms they go right the way to the edge of the paper and they come back in from the edge of the paper and we draw their body and then we give them some legs and like with the arms it's really important that the legs go right up to the edge of the paper like this okay then we get our pair of scissors ask for some help with this if you're not if you're not comfortable doing it yourself or you're not sure and then we cut out our image Okay, so now we've cut out our shape, it's time to open it up. And what we have here is a paper chain made up of four individual people. Now thinking back to what we were saying before about us all being unique and special, I want you to take the first person to be yourself and think of something that's unique and special about you. I want you to write that on the first person. Okay. And then for the other three, I want you to think of three members of your family or three of your friends and write something unique and special about them on each of these. And then every time you look at it, you'll be able to remember that we're all special, we're all unique and God loves us just the way we are.